Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be testing the portable heaters out to make sure they're ready to go into service if I should need them. I don't think I will, but it's always good to know they're working before I need them. First up is this Polonus I got for cheap. It's free from a friend. It tripped the limit or the high temperature limit after a few moments. So it's bypassed right now, but it still has the tip over switch. But I wouldn't ever run any of these unattended, so it's good enough for me if I need it. Let's try it out. Fan only. And there's our starting temperature. Put it on 1300 watts. And it's chooching pretty good on 1300 watts. Now 1500 watts. Didn't have the thermostat turned up. Thermostat works. There's that. That really is chooching out the heat try to shoot in between the elements. So about 200 degrees. It's good enough. Now I'll put it back to fan only to cool it down. I don't like to shut it off abruptly and leave the elements warm. So we'll let those cool off a little bit. It's not going to take too long. That should be good enough. Up next is this home ceramic heater from the 90s. Fan only on that one. Put it on low heat. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it's starting to warm. These take a little while longer to get chuchin. But they do crank out the heat once they get going. See, it's getting hotter. Gradually getting hotter. It's putting out some warmth now. Go ahead and put it on high heat. There it goes. Feels pretty warm. And it's all over the place. So we'll say 189, 190. And again, I will put it on fan only and let it cool down. That should be sufficient. Next up will be this new tone rig from maybe late 70s, early 80s. Fan only. And this one moves some pretty good air for a heater. Let's put it on 750 watts. This one doesn't take long to get going. Let's put it on 1500 watts. And you notice the fan slowed down a little bit.
quite a difference. So that one's working. And I will do fan only on that one again. Let it cool down just a bit. And that should be good enough for that one. I guess we'll do this one next. I don't know if I've made a video on this one. have no idea. But this is the one we use in the little workshop uh, just off the laundry room. If I hadn't made a video on this one I will do that. So we're just going to test it and make sure it runs. Do a quick look at it. There's the controls. It's all LEDs. China's finest. It swivels. I don't know what purpose that serves because you can do that pretty easy too. Anyway, let's get it started up. This one's just, you mash the button until you get something to work. We're on low power. See if it's heating. Yes, a little bit. This one moves some pretty good air too. For a modern machine, it's not chooching that much heat. So now let's put it on high. Not a big fan of that control layout. Not only does the heating element go a little faster, the fan does too. But we're not going to get these 200 degree temperatures like from the vintage units. Though it is put, throwing out some pretty good heat. Looks like about 125 is going to be about the, the best heat this one provides. That's pretty flaky there. That stopped responding, so not too much hope in this one, but it does kind of work. So I guess that just quit working. How about that? At least I got a demonstration out of it. And for the last heater, we'll try this 1950s Toastmaster I found in the trash earlier in the spring. It should be ready to work just fine. One simple dial. No nonsense. Might need to oil that fan a little bit more. It's so good, it, it's beyond the limit of it. 211, 235, 355. This thing doesn't mess around. Might melt the camera if I keep it on too long. Yeah, this, this is no nonsense. It just, it's a heater. It does what it's supposed to do.
and the fan settled down a little bit and it's not settled down again so I'll put some more oil on that so that's been a look at the portable heater startups for 2021-2022 winter thank you for watching